Happy Saturday, my purple banditos, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Black 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Burbank's gym leader, Roxy, and we obtained the Toxic Badge. After that, we saw that they were messing with Roxy, that Team Plasma was trying to start some stuff. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to Route 20, and we're going to try to find these Team Plasma grunts and get them out of here. I hope you guys are having a nice Saturday. I've been having a real good Saturday, just relaxing a little bit, just enjoying my day. Help me check Route 20, and it looks like that is what we are going to be doing. We're going to be checking Route 20. We're going to see if we can find the Team Plasma Grunts, and we're going to see if we can get them out of this place. They've been messing around with too many people in Furbank City, and you know, that's not how it's going to be around here. We found the Team Plasma Grunt. Yeesh, I really hate it when people won't let things go. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus the Team Plasma Grunt, so let's go ahead and take her on. Let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon this Team Plasma Grunt is going to have. She's got a Tropius, and this is our first battle of the day. It's a great thing, then, because we do have Medley up in front. So let's go ahead and see what Medley can do here against this Tropius. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all of your tips and your comments. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button, as it really does help the series. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. We're very close to taking down this Tropius. I'm going to go ahead and go for one more wing attack. And it looks like we are going to go ahead and win this thing. So we are doing pretty good so far. Our Pokemon are still at the same levels that they were. And we defeated the Team Plasma Grunt. She's going to be mad. She's going to be real mad. Now that I think about it, if I run this way, no one can help me. I have to head toward the ocean. So with that in mind, I'm going to flee again. Goodbye, Verbank City. With that, see you later. Seems like the Team Plasma Grunt has gone and ran off. Phew, why weren't you standing up there, dude? Well, they're really good at running. Anyway, still, she just said something useful. They must be moving around by boat. Castelia City has a big port. I wonder if they're headed there. Let's go back to Verbank. You know what? Let's go back to Verbank. Let's go look for someone that has some experience with boats. If you guys remember, we did take a tour of Pokestar Studios, and we actually did get the chance to meet someone who had a little bit of experience with boats. So lucky for us, we met the captain, who was Roxy's parent, and now we can go ahead and see if they can take us to Castelia City. Are you kidding me? I'm not able to run for this? All right, man. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the wing attack then. What's up with this level 4 Wobbuffet over here? Just trying to pick fights with anyone who's running through the grass. Come on. Medley is way higher level. And let's go ahead and make our way back to Verbank City then and see what we can find. It's a nice little Saturday night here, as you guys can see. Even in Verbank City, it's been a little bit quiet here in Verbank. Everybody is enjoying a nice little day, and that is what I like to hear. So we are back in Verbank City, and let's go ahead and make our way back to where the captain was and see if we can get some help to the next city. I thought your movie was pretty good. So you saw it. That movie was... Nah, it wasn't the movie. It was me. I was so excited. I had to really become right old man. Acting like that won't thrill or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue on as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studio people feel about that, though. Oh, did you hear us? Well, looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I don't feel real good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there was a lot of ruckus, but you can sail to Castelia City now. Okay, I guess I'll do my best as captain. I'll excite and thrill everyone by barreling through rough waves. So with that, guys, it looks like we are going to be able to make our way to Castelia City. So let's go ahead and step inside. Hugh is already here. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to Castelia City, Hugh. I'm going to look for Team Plasma. I can't forgive those guys. Hey, Captain, show us that ship you're so proud of. Of course, please step this way. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived here in Castelia City. Everyone, we've arrived at Castelia City. So this Castelia City is much bigger than I'd heard, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to find Team Plasma no matter where they run. Oh yeah, Rodri. Here, let's register each other's x transceiver number. We didn't even need to in Aspersia. We can see each other at any time. That's a strange ship. A sailing ship in this day and age? What is a sailing ship doing here? In this day and age, 
We are in Unova, and you guys can see that Unova is a very advanced region. So what is going on around here? Let's go ahead and see if we can find out what is happening here in Castelia City. So let's go ahead and explore this place. This is a big city, as you can see. <clears throat> Welcome to Castelia City. It's the Castelia Harlequin Hunt. I bet this is your first visit to Castelia City. That's great. Here, have this bicycle. So with that, guys, we obtained a bicycle. What? Why did we obtain a bicycle for it being our first visit here? I gotta tell you guys, it seems like the people of Castelia City are even nicer. If they're gonna be handing out bicycles to us when we just arrive, what do we get the second time we come to Castelia? With that though, guys, let's go ahead and go for a ride on our bicycle. We're gonna take a little look around this place and see what we can find here in Castelia City. As you guys can see, it is nighttime here in Castelia City. So it looks like people might be a little bit asleep. People might be, you know, doing their own thing. If you're looking for the gym leader, Berg, he said there might be trouble and then he took off. You can go look for him if you like. Oh, Berg vanished again. Oh, hello, Iris. Something came up and Berg isn't here right now. Hmm. Isn't Berg always vanishing, though? He always says he's got all his block and just goes wandering out of the gym. Hi there, who are you? Looking for Team Plasma? But Team Plasma disbanded two years ago. I guess that doesn't matter. You're having problems, so I'll help you out. Hmm, now where would suspicious people go to hide? That's it. That might be where they are. Good grief. Berg and Iris are so similar. It looks like she went around the corner toward the Pokemon Center. Do you know where the Pokemon Center is? Keep following the street that goes around Castelia City. It's right there. With that, it looks like Clyde gave us some advice. We appreciate it, Clyde. We're going to go and try to help out anyone that we can here in Castelia City. But let's go ahead and see if we can find Iris, who did seem to be having some information of where to go. Hey, come on. I'm here this past year. If you mention a special place in Castelia City, the only places to come to mind are Narrow Street in here. Narrow Street in Castelia City. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. This way, this way. Come on, have a look. So let's go ahead and have a look. We are going to be making our way to some new area. All right, where are we at now? You can go inside the sewers from here. What do you think? Seems pretty suspicious, right? Rodri, did you find Team Plasma? Not yet, man. We're still looking. Ah, those dirty Pokemon thieves. Means the only place I still haven't checked is... Rodri, help me out! So Hugh is going to go ahead and make his way down into the sewers. Team Plasma must be down there. Yep, the sewers are a perfect place for hiding. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way down into the sewers as well and see if we can find something down here. We are in the Castelia sewers. This is a brand new area as well. So we are going to be able to catch a Pokemon here. Rodri, I need you to go get tougher. Even I'm going to have to trouble taking them all by myself. Anyway, it's okay. I'll take care of healing our Pokemon. I'm counting on you. Rodri, are you ready to go? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's find Team Plasma. So with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and make our way through the Castelia sewers. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling ready to explore this place. And let's go ahead and see what we can find here in the sewers. So right now, it looks like we are going to be teaming up with you. So I'm going to go ahead and use a repel for now so we can continue finding some Team Plasma grunts. And we have already ran into them, so it wasn't that hard to find them. They were just kind of chilling. Hey, what do you want? Team Plasma, you villains. What? Don't treat us like villains and don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokemon. Liberate? Huh. You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. And what's more, you use those tools stolen Pokemon like they're tools. Get up. Hand over your Pokemon. Let's do this, Rodri. Let's do this, Hugh. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus... We're going to be taking awesome Team Plasma grunts. And let's go ahead and do this here in the Castelia sewers. So the Team Plasma grunts have two Pokemon ready to go. And it looks like it's going to be a Mothum and a Bayleaf. So we got a doubles battle here, and we're going to be teaming up with you. He was going to go ahead and send out a Shaman. This man got himself a Shaman. What kind of game has he been playing in his randomizer where he got a Shaman? Where are our legendaries at? Come on. Our rival gets a freaking Shaman out of nowhere? That's all right. We're going to go ahead and crit this Bayleaf. You know what? Medley's going to be critting everybody from now on. I cannot believe that Hugh got a Shaman. I guess that's just kind of how it goes. You know, it's like rolling a dice. It is a randomizer Nuzlocke, and I guess he just got lucky. He got a crazy Pokemon, and that is good to see. It looks like our rival is going to be tough. Hopefully, we don't have to battle against him with that Shaman. 
because that could prove to be a little difficult for us, honestly. So let's go ahead and try to take down this Motham then. We've gone up against a good amount of Mothams here, and we are doing a good job with this so far. Shaman is level 20 as well, so it is a little bit higher than us. It looks like they've been putting in some good time into training their Pokemon. Shaman is going to go for the Magical Leaf. We're going to keep hitting our Rock stuff. We're going to keep hitting our Rock throws, and let's go ahead and see what we can do. We took down the Motham though, so that should be it for these Team Plasma Grunts. I don't think they're going to be doing a whole lot else when we have a Shaman on our side. We got 1280 for winning. They're really tough, but whatever. We got the Pokemon we need. Now we flee. Ugh, they run away like Pat Rat. Okay, let's go further inside. There might be more in there. Oh, I don't think that's necessary, you two. Could you be Gym Leader Berg? Yes, sir. One and the same. I'm Berg. And there was no suspicious beyond here. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. I'm concerned about Team Plasma as well. More importantly, shall we leave this place? For some reason, the zoo is bugging me. Huh? Didn't you and the other gym leaders fight Team Plasma two years ago? Thanks for your help. Here, use this. With that, guys, we obtained HMO form strength. And it looks like we are getting a little bit stronger. I'll find those other Team Plasma punks. I I'll never forget Pokemon Thieves. No way. See you later, Hugh. Thanks for all your help here in the sewers. He's gone. You there. That was an excellent demonstration of battling. The way you brought out the power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Plasma? Astounding. Simply astounding. Interesting as well, I see. Who was that? Well, no matter. What are you going to do? You can stay here and train your Pokemon, or maybe you should come challenge me, the gym leader. Be seeing ya. See you later, Berg. With that, guys, it looks like we do have a couple options of what it is we want to do. So we are down here in the Castellia sewers, as you guys were able to hear. And then we also have the Relic Passage in front of us. So we do have two options here to catch some Pokemon. And I think we are definitely going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon in the Pokemon Center. And we'll be ready to catch some Pokemon. So with that, guys, I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. So now it looks like we have two options here in the Castellia Sewers. We can find a Pokemon here in the Castellia Sewers. And we can step inside into the Relic Passage, which is another area too. And catch a Pokemon here as well. It looks like the Relic Passage is going to have some items here. I am not going to use the repels that I have been using because we're going to see what kind of Pokemon we can run into. You guys can see that these areas do have a lot of room to them. And there's even some people that we can battle here. But here we go. Let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon it is going to be. And oh my goodness, it is a Mesprit. So it looks like our boy Hugh got a Shaman and we got ourselves a Mesprit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and see what we can do against this Mesprit. I also stocked up on a couple Pokeballs, so I do have some great balls that will hopefully be coming in handy here, especially since we are going up against a Mesprit. Mesprit is really, really strong. This could be a Pokemon that could come in very, very handy for us. So I'm definitely going to try everything we can here to catch this Pokemon. Let's keep on going, though, with the Fury Cutter. Fury Cutter is doing a good amount of damage right now. And it looks like the Mesprit is going to have rest, which could work out in our favor, honestly. If we could get the Mesprit down into the yellow and then, you know, go for the catch, I think we might be able to do just that. We actually just critted this Mesprit. It is in a perfect spot for us to catch it. So let's go ahead and throw those Great Balls. It is only level 16. It is asleep right now. And it is in the yellow. Come on, Mesprit. So close. We were, you know, we're trying out here. We're doing what we can, guys. We're going to go for it yet again. So I do have, it had eight great balls. So, you know, we got seven more to go. We're going to try to do what we can with these great balls and see if we can catch this Pokemon. So it is a legendary. So I am expecting it to be a little bit tougher to catch. You just can't expect, you know, this Pokemon to just join your team all of a sudden. We can hope, though that it will join our team because it would be a real great addition. All right, Mesprit, it woke back up. It's going for another rest. Now, I don't know if I should go for another Fury Cutter here. 
as you guys can see the fury cutter was doing a lot of damage to this pokemon so i think i'm gonna go for like a water gun let's see how much the water gun will do to it Roran jr is only level 20 so i don't expect the water gun to do that much damage to it hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit in the yellow maybe we could even get in the red uh that might be what we have to do to catch this pokemon we might just have to put it into the red zone so let's go for another water gun. Let's try to get it as close as we can. It is in the red, and it is going for a confusion. But regardless of that, we are going to throw a Pokeball at it. We got into the red. We got five great balls left, ladies and gentlemen. Cross your fingers here. And let's hope that we can catch this thing. We are probably not going to catch this thing. It used rest yet again. And this is such a difficult Pokemon to catch. This is really, really tough. A Mesprit. I'm still surprised that we even ran into this thing. And now I'm just getting a little bit nervous that we won't be able to catch it here because it's been pretty tough. You know, we got to really hope for something big here. We got to hope that one of these great balls sticks. Let's keep going for that water gun then. We got it into the yellow. I'm going to go for one more water gun. Let's get it into the red. It's going for the imprison. At least we'll be able to put it down into the red. We got it into the red. That's about as close as it is going to get. Four great balls left to go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Let's keep on throwing them. And let's see what kind of luck we're going to have today. Maybe this could be it. There it is. My goodness. We got it. We actually caught Mesprit. Oh, wow. We did it. I'm really just... We got it. We got the emotion Pokemon. We got a legendary. It's a psychic Pokemon. When Mesprit flew, people learned the joy and sadness of living. It was the birth of of emotions so guys we're gonna go ahead and give this pokemon a nickname and we are actually gonna nickname this pokemon after you know a person that's been there for us throughout the adventures you know i gotta tell you you know this person's really been there through a lot a lot of adventures took care of a lot of our pokemon we're gonna call this pokemon joy after our girl nurse joy because it does kind of look like her in a way if you think about it and it is also the pokemon that brought joy you know so there we have it guys we got joy the mesprit added to our team and we are looking good so now we have a pokemon with some good you know strong psychic moves sorry ace you know that hidden power hasn't been coming in that handy i gotta tell you it really really hasn't so there's still some trainers down here which means we could do a little bit of exploring but now that we have caught one Pokemon, which is the Mesprit, I have a feeling that we should go and catch another one as well down here in the Castellia sewers. So let's go ahead and see what the next Pokemon is going to be because it has appeared and it is going to be a Swampert, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, a water Pokemon. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have some really good water Pokemon on our team. And let's go ahead and try to catch this Swampert. What in the heck is going on here today? We already have a water type, and then, you know, here comes another water type trying to join our team. Plus, we just took a kind of a big hit there. I'm going to go ahead and use the Super Potion on Roarin Jr. We are not going to mess around there, guys. We're going to go ahead and heal right up and see what we can do. So the cool thing is that we are adding all these Pokemon, and although these Pokemon do have some typings that we have previously on some of our Pokemon... The thing is, we could also make it so we can mix some of these Pokemon in and, you know, mix up the team a little bit. That is something that could always work out. Right now, I'm seeing that Ace, you know, is also Psychic alongside Joy. So we could always have Joy step in and do a little something, guys. Let's go ahead and throw that Gray Ball in. Like, come on, just stick into the Gray Ball, Swampert. You are level 14. We already caught a Legendary earlier today. I mean, do you really want to make this... That much more difficult, Swampert. That is all I'm saying. Do you really want to make things tough around here? I'm going to throw this dive ball. Let's just go ahead and see what the dive ball can do. We've had the dive ball there for a reason, guys. We've had the dive ball there chilling. So you never know. Oh, my goodness. I thought the dive ball was going to have it there. That's okay. That was way too close. Uh, we're going to catch this Swampert, though. We're going to catch this thing. I believe. I believe we can do it. So let's go ahead and keep throwing some Pokeballs. I'm not going to go for another hit on this Pokemon, though. That is not something that we are going to do. Just having it in the yellow is plenty for me. And at least it's getting close to being caught. 
I think having a Swambert would be really, really cool. I don't know what's up with these water starters, you know, fully evolved, popping out at us. But they're popping out at us for some reason. Maybe we will need a very strong water team with whatever there is to come. You never know. We could be going against some seriously crazy strong Pokemon that, you know, we haven't even seen yet. That we haven't even imagined later in some of the gyms. It could be like the sixth gym, you know. And that's when the moment comes and you need your Pokemon to jump in. You gotta call in your water types so you don't lose the randomizer Nuzlocke. And, you know, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes, truthfully. That's why every Pokemon matters. That is, you know, the truth. Every Pokemon has a special meaning and they have their own little special significance. Except maybe not this Swampert if he doesn't get in this Pokeball. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw another one then. And this should be it. Come on, I got seven Pokeballs left. I've already caught a Mesprit today. We got Joy the Mesprit. You know, I'm just trying to catch this Swampert. It would be a great day if we could catch this Swampert. You know, it would be a very very great day here two very strong pokemon that would be added here let's throw another pokeball at it then this swampert is so close to being caught guys come on little swampert you're level 14 but you got the heart of a level 50 you know that's that's how it is sometimes we we can really see that from here we can see you're gonna help us out i'm gonna throw another pokeball at it then guys we have four pokeballs left after this one Maybe I should have saved some of those great balls for this Swampert, but I didn't really expect to run into this Swampert. I just kind of thought, you know, we were just going to come in here and catch two Pokemon that maybe weren't fully evolved. Maybe weren't even legendaries. Just some Pokemon that popped out. But it looks like today we had a challenge. We had to go up against some pretty tough Pokemon here. We had to catch some really strong ones. And that's okay. You know, once in a while, you got to step up to the challenge. We gotcha! Swampert was caught and with that ladies and gentlemen we have caught ourselves a little water starter we got Swampert the mudfish Pokemon it is water ground it can swim while towing a large ship it bashes down foes with a swing of its thick arms we are going to give it a nickname so let's go ahead and call this Swampert Unalak a waterbender from the legend of Korra. With that, guys, I'd like you to welcome Unalak to the team. And with that, guys, we now have a Swamper that we have ran into. And we are looking very strong. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we have caught two new Pokemon. And that's going to change things up for our randomizer Nuzlocke. That opens up a world of possibilities. So what are you going to do now? You ran into Jimmy Little Bug in the sewers, didn't you? Maybe you should go to the Pokemon gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure battling will help your Pokemon come to understand you better as a trainer too. And as you can see, Iris is also advising us to get ready and take on Berg's gym. So a lot of things have been shaken up today, guys. Two new Pokemon have been caught that could completely change our roster. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. What Pokemon you would like to see going into Berg's gym. Make sure you go ahead and click that like button if you're new to the channel. Click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.